uh, Sirach chapter 34 verse 6 and if they be not sent from the most high in thy visitation set not thy heart upon them yep for dreams have deceived many yep and they have failed that put their trust upon in them yeah so when when the society crumbles all right now you know why because you trusted in dreams which lift up fools and the lord said he gonna do away with the foolish man the foolish shall not stand before the lord man all right and you negroes latinos and native americans you weren't created to be a bunch of simple ass niggas man you was, you was created for greatness but because you want to accept being fools the lord gonna have to x you out that's why two-thirds of y'all are gonna be done away with man on this side because you ain't right man proverbs chapter chapter 3 verse 5 yep trust in the lord with all thy heart and lean not a lean not Thine into thy own understanding. Yeah, don't lean upon your own understanding. Okay? Because you don't have no understanding. And don't lean upon the, the understanding of these heathens, especially the so-called white man. He's proven that he, he doesn't possess any uh, wisdom, man. Everything he's for or promotes is, is totally against the Heavenly Father, and the Lord's going to destroy him, man. He's going to destroy him and, and his demonic child and his slut ass woman and all the people that follow after his ways man you heathens and you simple minded jakes man go to proverbs 12 and 26 yeah. all right proverbs chapter 12 verse 26 yeah the righteous is more the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. We're excellent. Not because we say we're excellent. It's because the Lord made us excellent, man. All right? And the way you become excellent is by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. And most importantly, having faith in the Heavenly Father. Which the society is a faithless society, man. They teach you to be atheists from a child, man. Not to believe in, in the Heavenly Father. Okay? Because if you're a man of faith and you believe and you keep those things that the Lord say to do, he going to protect you, man. All right? But if you go against him, you're going to be put to death. Okay? Because the Lord controls both life and death. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Yeah, being like these heathens. Being like Esau seduced our people to going off, man. And that's why a large majority of them are going to end up getting X'd out. And our people know they better than the so-called white man. For the ways the wickedest, uh, I mean, uh, read me again. Oh, yeah, uh, get Proverbs 15 and uh, what's it, 8? 15 and 8. Yeah, 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 yeah. Proverbs 15 and 8. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 9. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord. Yep. Yeah. But but he that follow after is an abomination to the Lord. But he that follow after but he that, but he that love of him, that follow after righteousness. So, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. All right, we're excellent. Okay. All right, these heathens, specifically the so-called white man and his whole uh, abominable race. All right, their ways is totally contrary to the Lord. So they're an abomination. The Lord said, "Don't follow their ways, man." All right. So go back to uh, read Isaiah 30 uh, one again, and then go to uh, Psalms 91. Okay, cause you Jakes, you trusting in America, you gonna be destroyed, man. All right, and we in a season now. The Lord's he's he's quickly sealing up the elect, and a lot of these Jakes that's out here, they just gonna get caught off guard, man, because they do like this guy. They walk straight by, which that's the Lord making him walk straight by. Okay, because it's not for him. But he's going to be judged because he saw us and he heard us. Keep reading. Yeah, read one through three and then hop down to five and then hop to seven. Isaiah 30 and one. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord. Yep. That take counsel, but not of me. Uh-huh. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Yep. That they may add sin to sin. Yep. That, that walk to go down to Egypt. What is Egypt? The word Egypt was a Greek word, 
right, which the Greeks renamed the land of Mizram to Egypt. Okay, all right. That word in the uh, Egypt is a Greek word that goes back to a word uh, Egyptos, which means bondage. Because when when the Greeks went into Egypt to conquer those people, all right, led by Alexander the Great, when they saw the pyramids and all the uh, famous buildings that our people built back when they were slaves under the Egyptians or the, the children of Mizraim, they said this this is Egypt because these buildings was great out, uh, built out of great bondage, man. And America is, is the modern day Egypt, man. Because here, if, if you a Negro, Latino, Native American, you in constant uh, oppression, man, and bondage. You bound financially, that's why you got all that debt, all right? Your forefathers were bound physically, all right, when they was brought over here. They, hell, what I'm talking about, they still bound because the large uh, population that fill up these prisons are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which Wells Fargo makes money off of them. Exactly. All right, so to hell with some Wells Fargo, man. Say it again, bro. All right. Say it again. No, I'm good. I proved it already. I'm, I'm, I'm digging what you're saying. I know. But that's, it's the, it's the truth. It, it's nothing but the truth. Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Yep. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Yeah. And that's what happened to our people. That's how we know we're Israelites, through the curses that Moses said will come on the Israelites in the latter days because they was going to fall away from knowing who they were. All right. And that. The Lord was going to put them in slavery under the so-called white man, which is really the Edomites, which Esau, they go back to uh, Esau, who was our twin brother, okay? Because it was prophesied that they, Esau would rule the whole earth by means of the sword. And that's how this man done conquered all these nations and have power over the whole earth is through war. I've been in war. I've been in the devil's home. I'm a homeless pet, but I'm just, I'm just what you're saying. That's me when I say, say it again, though. The government is... It's, no good to me, it's corrupt, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get that because the scriptures say that's a shame, man. That's not right that a person that goes and fight war. Well, he didn't come back and get treated like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know. Oh, man. And that's coming. Yeah, that is coming. Yes, right there. That's coming right there. And that, that desert storm, that was just a uh, part of it. Because. Israel and got to a point now that they are tired of Iran. They're tired of they're tired of they're tired of America saying wait on the sanction, wait on the sanction. Yeah. Israel and those are the chosen people. Well, no, we're, we're the chosen. People. I mean, yeah, but we're but, just like Israelites. We, and I just heard what you just said. We, we are Israelites. We, but those people that's in that land, they're not the real Israelites. And the reason why they act the way they act is because. Um, they deceiving the people. Mm -hmm. And everybody's waking up to the fact that they're not the people. Right. But that really we are the people because we fit those things that the Bible says about right. the Israelites in this time. Right. So what they trying to do, they trying to attack Iran to upset prophecy. And it, and through that, they try to gain the whole control of the whole earth because they control every place other than the Middle East. Yeah, the Middle East and they right. trying to control those people over there. Yeah, but like I said, you know, I fought, I fought against the Muslims. And I, and I wasn't supposed to go there. I was both. I was supposed to go to Japan, and next thing I know, I'm, de I'm deployed to Saudi Arabia, then straight to Iran. Yeah, I mean to Iraq. Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah, um, messed up right? Here it is. I think it is. It's locked here. Um, shit. It's one that talks about. Sorry. Let me tell you what. I'm gonna run up here right quick. I'm gonna run up here right quick. I'm gonna come back. I want to, I want to listen to something. That you do. Let me go up and wreck and I'll be right straight back, okay? Alright. Okay, I like that teaching, man. Alright. Keep keep reading and I'll try to find it because I know hey, it's. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. I want I want to come back. Yeah. I want to come back and write that down. Okay. Keep, keep reading where you was at. I'm trying to find it. Who was I? He was in Isaiah chapter 30. All right, because this is scripture in here where it talks about that it's not right. About a man that goes to war and he comes home and he's in poverty. It's not right because 
if you're in war, you should enjoy the spoils of war. You know what I'm saying?